good morning my dear students so again uh, in this class i will tell you about the damped forced vibration concept okay so uh, this is very very important uh, to solve the problems okay so in damped forced vibration there are three forces acting in a, we can uh, we can uh, what we can say that uh, we are going to apply the three different types of force uh, in a particular mechanical system under in the forced damped vibration okay so this is very important so here the one force will be acting base one more force is acting that is a rotor in motion condition our uh, one more is what uh, the uh, so here one more is what the rotor uh, external forcing base excitation rotor excitation okay these are the three forces uh, we are going to Mm, apply the externally for the mechanical system in a, under this uh, damped force vibration okay so this is very important okay so uh, all the problems uh, comes under this uh, what the model fifth damped force vibration based on these three forces okay so external force base excitation rotor excitation okay in external force nothing but what we are going to apply the externally force okay base excitation nothing but what uh, basically the one if you take the any mechanical component which is fixed to the ground level there is a some uh, force will be in gravitational force that called as what base excitation okay so rotor excitation means if the rotating part is attached to the mechanical system there is a chance of uh, centrifugal force okay so that centrifugal force will be created while rotating parts that is what and comes under this rotor excitation okay we will study in detail that okay is that the damped force uh, there are the uh, these are the three different damped force vibration okay for uh, spring mass damper system okay so here uh, we will consider the three different types of force that is called external forcing base excitation rotor excitation okay along with i shown in the diagram also here okay so here uh, first one is a external force okay what do you mean by external force okay so external force nothing but what uh, these are the model of behavior of the system which has the time varying force acting on it okay an example might be taken for the offshore structure subject to a wave loading okay so it, uh, external forcing is nothing but uh, take the mechanical system we are going to apply the external force so here the red color shows the external force that is pulling the mass to the uh, rhs okay that may be a f is equal to f naught sin omega t that may be in the wave form or normal uh, excitation force okay so this is a spring mass damper system one end is fixed another end is free okay so one end is in between the mass a, a spring damper is connected uh, and spring is connected okay so beginning is le and this is displaced uh, the distance is what x of t okay so force how much force we are going to apply here f naught sin omega t is the external force we are going to apply that is pulling uh, outward direction so this is about the external force okay base excitation is nothing but what uh, so here also it is a model of the behavior of the vibration isolation system okay so the base of the spring is given to a prescribed motion causing the mass to vibrate this system can be used to model in a vehicle suspension system and earthquake response of the structure okay so this nothing but the figure b shows this is the base excitation okay base excitation nothing but what again uh, take the spring mass damper system mass is fixed to the ground level and one is fixed uh, here the here it is not fixed just to observe here okay so here the some in between distance will be there that is a waveform equation take place that is the base excitation will be there okay so in between this uh, here the force will be generated okay so that force is what via of uh, sin omega t so this y of sin omega t is called as base excitation okay so this is called as the base excitation force okay so here uh, okay so in between this one and just to observe the diagram this is fully connected but it is not connected because here the uh, base excitation force will be there okay so that is called as base excitation okay so rotor excitation okay third case is what so it is a model of the effect of the rotating machine mounted on a flexible four or the crank uh, with a small masses m not rotate within a constant angular velocity causing the mass m to vibrate okay so here this means what so here again consider a spring mass damper system okay so one end is fixed and in between this a spring and damper is connected same l and x of t is causes okay so here when a rotor if a rotor is connected uh, this during the mass okay which will be rotated during once it is started it will be rotated okay during rotation, uh, rotation of the uh, rotor there will be a force to be generated that is then called as centrifugal force me omega square so that is called as a rotor excitation force okay uh, that in the, that force is what y of sin omega t okay these are the three forces uh, which you going to consider while solving the problem that is external force base excitation rotor excitation okay both based on these only we are going to solve the problems okay so if you go in detail means uh, we, uh, which will restrict the 
uh, what the harmonic excitation for example ex external force applied to the first system is given by this is the external force we are going to give the for the first mass that is f is equal to f naught sin omega t okay the forces varies harmonically with an amplitude of f naught and the frequency omega so the if it is in the motion condition then second equation is what we are going to get this is in a uh, second equation that is what here the base excitation y is equal to what y naught sin omega t okay and the distance between the small mass m naught and the large mass m for the third system which is uh, given by what x is equal to x naught and dy by dt is equal to v naught so okay these are the three different equations we are going to use okay so that is the different these are the force existing in this three element these are the three different cases okay so one by one we will go to study in detail so equation of motion for the external uh, forcing okay so consider this is the uh, what uh, the free body diagram of that okay so one is spring force and the, this is what the damper force this is an external force okay so this is a free body diagram of mass okay so we so now uh, uh, the according to the newton second law that is a newton law so inertia forces is equal to external force that is here that this is the inertia force and this is an external force okay so m d square x by dt square nothing but that is a double x okay m of x double dot is equal to ft minus ky minus lambda into dx by dt okay so rearrange this uh, again equation we are going to get what uh, m by k so just to k if just to rearrange this equation you are going to get m by k d square that is the x double dot plus y by k that is the lambda by k uh, and dx by dt plus x is equal to 1 by k f naught by sin omega t okay just to rearrange this just uh, that uh, rearrange this okay check out the list uh, okay so here the check out uh, mm. our list uh, from the solution that is a od is nothing but ordinary differential equation but we know that omega is equal to square root of k by m and zeta is equal to lambda by 2 so, square root of k by m k is equal to capital k by 1 by k okay uh, our equation can be reduced in the form of this okay so if you substitute the, uh, here we are going to get the final equation is equal to 1 by um, omega n whole square that is uh, dx square dt uh, plus 2 zeta dx by omega n dt plus x is equal to k f naught sin omega t okay so this is the equation final equation for the external forcing which will be acting on that particular element or particular mass or particular body okay this is very important okay second case is same equation of motion to the base excitation okay so base excitation means here we are not applying the so look at the observe the diagram here in the base excitation we are not uh, gen we are not applying the external force it is fully it is fixed okay these are the forces acting on that in between the foundation and the mass okay that is kx minus y that is the displaced position and lambda dx minus y dt okay so these are the two forces acting on that okay so here the according to same newton second law f summation of f of f is equal to ma okay so this is the inertia force these are the external force right hand side direction okay again rearrange you are going to get this that is m d square x uh, whole divided by k dt square plus lambda dx by k dt plus x is equal to y plus lambda dy by k dt okay so we know that the simple equations that is a simple formula <coughs> omega n is equal to square root of k by n and zeta is equal to lambda by 2m okay so I put these values in the above equation or in the form of we can reduce the equation we are going to get this equation okay so 1 by omega n uh, uh, square d that is m x double dot plus 2 zeta dx uh, whole divided by omega n dt plus x plus is equal to k y plus 2 zeta dy by omega n dt okay so for the initial condition if you will take initial displacement x is equal to x naught dx by dt is equal to velocity v is equal to v naught okay so finally we are going to get y of t is equal to y naught sin omega t so this is the ordinary differential equation you have to remember this equation okay so in the notes i i solved the step by step that also you refer okay so in the third case in the rotor excitation okay so when uh, the rotor is connected to the uh, mass uh, while rotating there is a centrifugal force will be generated based on that we are going to resolve the forces okay so this is the force uh, okay, okay so horizontal direction this is vertical direction in between then there is a centrifugal force will be here there is the mc is equal to what there is m naught is nothing but what uh, centrifugal force okay so here the spring force this is the damper force and this is a horizontal this is vertical and horizontal uh, take that uh, vertical horizontal we are going to take on here and uh, along with that there is a reaction force r1 and r2 will be there okay so according to the same uh, the uh, the note that the horizontal acceleration of the mass m naught is a is equal to d by dt square the total that is l naught okay plus x plus y okay uh, is equal to d square by d square x by dt square plus d square y by dt square okay again same apply the newton second law horizontal uh, inertia force is equal to external force you are going to get this equation that is m d square x whole divided by dt square is equal to h that is the horizontal component forces minus kx minus lambda dx by dt and m naught that is the inertia forces is equal to what again you just you rearrange here m, m is equal to nothing but m square m naught so d square x by dt plus d square y divided by dt square is equal to minus h okay 
so once uh, if you solve this okay this is for the total mass this is for the uh, internal masses okay so uh, these two equations eliminate the h and rearrange we are going to get uh, m plus m not uh, by k d square uh, x by dt square plus lambda by k dx by dt plus x is equal to minus m not d square y by dt square in divided by k okay so to arrange uh, this into standard form again we have this uh, normal equation uh, similar to that equation omega n is equal to square root of k by m but here m is equal to what total mass plus unbalanced mass this is m not is nothing but unbalanced mass okay and zeta is equal to lambda by 2 square root of k by m plus m not and k is equal to m not that is unbalanced mass whole divided by m plus m not okay once if you know this just to substitute you are going to get the final equation that is um, uh, motion can be reduced 1 by omega n whole square dx square by dt plus 2 zeta dx by omega n into dt plus x is equal to minus k by omega n square d square by y by dt square okay so this is what that this diagram indicate what the rotation that is a general equation is equal to y is equal to y naught sin omega t okay so this is the uh, equation we are going to uh, know this okay so this solution can be obtained from the ordinary differential equation okay so od nothing but what <coughs> ordinary differential equation okay Look the picture convince yourself to the crank rotate with an angular um, velocity omega then we are going to get this final equation okay uh, so, uh, so but for uh, for this is not there your syllabus but uh, you should know the how many forces are acting on the damped force vibration okay that you have to remember that is you have to remember from this diagram only three that is external force base excitation and rotor excitation okay these are the three forces you remember don't need to uh, go in depth this depth, uh, this what uh, uh, equation studies uh, what uh, induction derivation in detail derivation but you have to remember these three okay so one is base excitation force will be acting rotor excitation will be acting uh, external force will be acting okay so base external force we are going to apply f naught sin omega t base excitation nothing but in between that is the fixed level and the mass of that system and the rotor means we are going to connect the rotor in, in mass and while rotating there is a centrifugal force <coughs> centrifugal force will be generated that we need to consider okay so this is about the damped uh, force vibration okay three forces remember base rotor external base rotor external we have to remember like this okay so i think uh, you understand this uh, damped force vibration uh, thank you